We're down to five laps to go. Five to go. The front six running nose to tail. They could not be dynamited off the bottom of the track at this juncture. Joey Logano, Kevin Harvick running side by side in that seventh spot, trying to fight their way forward. And that is the way they will race to the back straightaway. Logano right in the middle of the racetrack, trying to get more drafting help. But the problem is, a lot of that drafting help has gone to that lane that's all the way upstairs, making it three wide. Top five cars glued right to the racetrack. Joey Logano, the first car out of line in that second lane. He is back slid to the eighth spot. How good is Joe Gibbs right now? The top five cars are Joe Gibbs or Joe Gibbs Alliance. The Alliance, of course, is Martin Truex Jr. Right now, he's got the second spot. The question is, uh, Dave Moody, when will he make his move? Well, somebody's going to have to do something very soon. Winning the Daytona 499, that's easy. Here's Kevin Harvick. He crosses over to the top, jumps up in front of Joey Logano. Harvick is the man to make the first move. It is time to go for Kevin Harvick. He will jump up in line in front of Joey Logano, and, oh, they're pushing, they're shoving, they're rooting, and they're gouging. Here comes Harvick up to fifth. There comes that second lane on the racetrack, led by Kevin Harvick up top side. He's getting around the Carl Edwards car. It's up to fourth and closing quick. Denny Hamlin pulled up, put the block on Kevin Harvick when he tried to move up to the top side. That took away some of Harvick's momentum. Now he's back there racing alongside Carl Edwards. That's for fifth as we're down to three laps to go. Kevin Harvick pulls the pin on the hand grenade. Now let's see if he can make it work as he travels that outside lane. There's just not much drafting help there. Only Joey Logano on the back bumper for Harvick right now. Front four have broken away. They are in single file formation. They're double wide for fifth. That's where Carl Edwards and Kevin Harvick race side by side. Behind them, they're stacked up double wide and three wide again from the fifth position on back. There comes Kyle Larson on the inside of the racetrack. He's in sixth and is side by side with Kevin Harvick. Ryan Newman up alongside Joey Logano next row back. Well, the top four are single file and they are trying to bust away from everybody else. Kevin Harvick, if he's got anything left, he'll have to show it right now. Two to go. It's Matt, Martin, and Kyle Busch. That's the top three. Harvick still side by side with Kyle Larson. That's no better than sixth place. Front of the pack. It continues to be Kenza, Truex, Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, all bottom side of the racetrack. Here's Denny Hamlin. He will sneak a peek to the outside and quickly snap his Toyota back in line. He is fourth in line on the inside lane, and that second groove, it's stalled out. Now Harvick races wheel to wheel with Larson. And that is for the sixth spot on the speedway. Kyle Larson to the inside. Kevin Harvick top side. Ryan Newman, Joey Logano, they're side by side, but it's all Toyota right now at the front of the field. Five Toyotas coming down to the line with one lap to go in the Daytona 500 led by Matt Kenseth, who started at the rear of the pack today. He's in charge with one more trip around Daytona. One more try to the outside lane for Kevin Harvick. He's up to fourth. Hamlin pulls up in front of him. Denny Hamlin's going to try the high side. That'll allow Edwards to jump to his inside lane. Edwards looking for fourth. It's all Matt Kenseth. Here they come up the Daytona Super Stretch for the final time. The front three are fine right now in Kenseth, Truex, and Kyle Busch. But here comes Hamlin storming up the outside of the racetrack. For second. And that outside lane up to the second spot, led by Denny Hamlin. Throws the block, does Matt Kenseth. He's out of shape. Here comes Martin Truex Jr. to the bottom. Checkered flag waving at the start-finish line. Who will get there first? It's Truex on the inside, Hamlin on the outside, and too close to call. Denny Hamlin showing up as the race winner. That is unofficial. Truex coming home second. Kyle Busch third by one one hundredth of a second. Denny Hamlin has won the 58th running of the Daytona 500. That was an amazing finish. Rusty Wallace, could you believe what you I saw there? I could not believe what I saw. The 20 car of Matt Kenseth gets rooted up out of the way by his teammate, and it's a drag race right to the line. And, guys, I could not see the difference in it, but it looks from our timing and scoring that Denny Hamlin, like you said, has got it done. So Denny Hamlin has scored his first career Daytona 500. The replay will show it by a matter of inches. The celebration is on down on pit road. Absolutely pandemonium down here. Hugs, high fives all the way around. Coach Gibbs is in the middle of it. Typically they lead in prayer after this, but right now there's a heck of a celebration ongoing. Michael Wheeler, his first race as Denny Hamlin's crew chief. He simply sits back, puts the hands on top of your head. Congratulations, you've won the Daytona 500.
Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I, uh, I thought the race was over when he slipped the tires going to pit road, but uh, he came back, he fought hard, made it happen. I can't thank enough to our teammates. They, uh, they fought all day, made sure we got a Toyota win. Uh, proud of FedEx and all, of, all the guys in the team, and uh, just can't, can't, not happy enough. You know, just, it's awesome. The tears are absolutely flowing, and I even get a high five and a hug from Michael Wheeler and Denny Hamlin. The FedEx team from Joe Gibbs Racing are headed to Gatorade Victory Lane. Matt Kenseth was leading on the Credit One Bank, one to go, but Matt Kenseth did not lead when it mattered most. It was Denny Hamlin scoring the first Toyota win in the Daytona 500.